All right, Alfonso solved a division problem by drawing an area model. Look at the area model. What division problem did Alfonso solve? So if it's a division problem, what kind of number are we going to start with? The whole. The whole number. And the whole number is a small number or a big number? Big, big. number. All right. And in a case where we have a picture like this, where do we find the whole number? Inside the box. Inside the box. So what is our whole? Oh. Is that 40 or 32? 40. Or bo both of the numbers. 72. 72. Who thinks it's 40? Raise your hand. Who thinks it's 32? Who thinks it's 72? Oh, you guys are so smart. So we know that this is, we have to add these up. So 40 plus um, 32 is 72. And they said it was a division problem, right? Yes. Okay. So what could have he been dividing by? Um, Devin G? Four. Four. That's where we've been. That's what we've been doing, right? Mm -hmm. Let me draw these pictures. Yep. So seventy-two divided by four. What was the answer he got when he drew his picture? Um, he got. Raise your hand. You think you can figure it out? Alex, what do you think you got for an answer? Um. So we know his whole. His whole was this right here. This was a 72. Then he divided by 4. Let's see if Max can help you out. Max? 18. This right here is his answer. If we wanted to check his work, how could we do it? Ella? 18 times 4. Yeah, 18 times 4. And if he did it right, what should our answer be? Jesslyn? 72. So let's check it. 4 times 8 is what? 32. 4 times 1? 4. Plus 3? 7. Do they match? Yeah. Wahoo! All right. Let's keep working down this problem. I think these all have to do with Alfonso's problem. Show a number bond to represent Alfonso's area model. Start with the total and then show how the total is split into two parts. Below the two parts, represent the total length using the distributive property and then solve. Whoa, that's a lot. Can we do it? Yes. Okay, I think we can too. So what was our whole number we started with? You guys just told me. 72. 72. And then he split it up into two parts. So what were the two parts? 40 and 32 and 2. Good job. All right, this is where it gets a little tricky. We did this earlier. So we have to take 40 and we divide it by what to figure this part out? 4. 4. What is 40 divided by 4? Okay. Who can tell me what I have to do what I have to do right here? Two. Abby? Um, 32 divided by 4. You got it. What is 32 divided by 4? 8. 10 plus 8 is 18. Does that match? Yes. Yes, great job. All right. Number 2. Solve 45 divided by 3 using an area model. Draw a number bond and use the distributive property to solve for the unknown length. So we are going to do exactly what we did up here for Alfonso, but with our own problem. All right, so how can I set that up? Maddie? Draw a rectangle or square. All right, so I'm going to draw my rectangle, and I'm going to do 45 and 3. Like that? Can we split ours up into something small, into two numbers that are smaller, yes. that are easier to work with? Yes. Um, Aiden, what do you think we can do? 40 and 5. Okay, 40 and 5. 40 and 5 make 45. But we have that problem oh, dividing oh. by 3. Remember we had that in that last one? David, what do you think would make it easier? Can we divide 30 by 5? Yeah. Can we divide 15 by 5? Yeah. yeah, that will work. That's not the only answer, but I think that will be
be the one, uh, an easy one to work with, David. Great job. So he said um, 30, 30 and 15. Sorry for a second. I thought you said 40 and 15. All right, and we're still dividing by what number? Three. All right, so now we have to figure out these two sides. So let's draw our number bond to start out. What goes at the top of our number bond? 45. 45, you got it. Josie, what two numbers come off my number bond? Um, 45 You got it. A 30. Fifteen. All right, and you have to do thirty divided by three, three which gives us what? Ten. Ten. So we know that this part up here is what? What is this part of our ten. length? Yep, yeah, ten. And then we have to do fifteen and divide that by. Three, yeah, we're dividing all of them by this number. And what's 15 divided by 3? Five. 5. 5. So we know that goes right here. But what is the total of that whole length? 15. 7G? 15. 15. We can add them up, right? 10 plus 5 is 15. There we go. We got it. All right, go ahead and flip your paper over. 